gotta seriously put this thing away before I hurt myself. Hi guys, it's Candy, and as you can see, I don't have any eyeliner or mascara on this eye because I'm gonna show you guys how to master the basic wing eyeliner like a pro. If you haven't subscribed to me, do it right now. Like this video if you wanna see more makeup basics like a pro. This isn't crazy complicated, just super easy because this even scares the most famous celebrity makeup artists that are my friends. If somebody's not telling you they're still a little scared of a wing eyeliner sometimes, they're not being real with you. So I'm gonna show you guys how to master it. I've seen so many tips from using a spoon to taping your face to pretty sure I hope they were joking with a knife. But I'm gonna show you guys how just to do with your wing liner with no gimmicks, no gadgets, no weapons, no knives, no tape, no utensils, nothing. I'm gonna show you how to do it and you're gonna be like, what? Comment below what other makeup basics you would like to master like a pro. Let's get started. Here we go. All you wanna do first is make sure that you put an eye primer or I just like to use concealer. Then you wanna set that with powder. Then you wanna go ahead and do your regular eyeshadow like normal. You need the eyelid to be dry with a powder or an eyeshadow. If you don't, it's just gonna melt off and smear. The pigment in the liquid eyeliner, they can't adhere if there's oil on the lid. It needs to be dried with the eyeshadow or at least powder on your face. So let's go to the bathroom and I will show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing that I need to tell you is you want to use a felt tip eyeliner. This is my favorite right now. It's the TARDIS from Tarte. You can use any felt tip eyeliner that you want. The trick is that you want a felt tip liner that's very pointed and firm. The brushes can get really wobbly and sometimes gel liner is a little trickier to master. There are great drugstore options too, so anything that looks like this, go ahead and give it a try. Okay, a very important tip is when you go to do this, you don't wanna just come in with this hand all floaty around all crazy. That's gonna give you wiggly lines for sure. You need to have like a fulcrum point or somewhere where this is still against your face and then this is gonna move in this direction. So for me, this is, this is how I would put it on. So I put like this, my, this hand near my chin or resting on my chin or however, and then this hand is against there to hold it still. It's not touching my face so it can move. If you do this on your face, you're limiting your movement and it's gonna be really weird. So I do it here and then this guy, like I'm rest, like I'm doing this. Hmm. And then I put him on top to hold him steady. And then same thing when you do your wing, just move him up your jawline or wherever, hold this steady and then lean your hand on here so you have like a range of movement. If you do it here, you can't get, you can't get good angles this way. So you wanna hold your hand here and then you do that on top. That's what's gonna give you this holding still. Otherwise this floating, this is gonna give you wiggly right there. And also if you're working on a client, what you wanna do is, this is different. When you're on a client, you can do different angles and be close. It's the same as like a hairdresser can blow dry your hair different than you can. You just need different angles. So you wanna put one of those powder puffs on your hand, slip your fingers in it so it's not against their face, and then you, you do your angles this way. When you're on their face, it's different than when it's on your own face the angle is totally different. So client, you can do here with the powder puff like this. You, you're gonna do cutesy posing for a picture and then you're going to do your wing liner like so. Okay, so I like to take the tip of my brush and I lay him down sideways. I'm not going in on the tip and drawing like this. I'm laying it flat up against my skin. So I lay him down here right at the midpoint of the eye and you wanna make sure that you're looking straight on. If you're doing it down or too far back, your line and wing is gonna get really weird looking. So I lay him down flat right there, and then I just go to the outer corner, go down like this, and then you really wanna make sure that you fill in the lash line. If there's any gaps where you see your skin, that gets weird. Smooth out this line, and I'll go back against the lash line. Then again, I'm gonna lay him down. I'm just gonna lay it right down, and I'm kind of pushing it down onto like my lashes. And you're like stamping that down and then connecting it. And then you wanna go to the inner corner, and I'm just gonna lay it down even more. I'm not drawing with the tip, I'm using the whole side of the brush, just pushing it against my skin. So you push, and then go in the direction, but you're pushing it against and drag, not just with the tip, but the whole side of the felt tip. Then you wanna go in the inner corner of the lash line. So for this part, I, I pull the eye to the side, and then you really wanna get down almost like you're going towards the inner water line inside there, so you get like a really nice transition. And then you can just smooth out any wobbles. Then when I smooth out the wobbles, that's when I go back in with just the tip, and I really work
on the edge of smoothing out any wobbles. So once you get this, the main part is just getting it from here to here. And you can make this as thick as you want over here. Once you have your wing established, then you can decide how thick you want it. But this is the basic shape. And you want to stop right about the corner where your eyelashes stop the corner of your eye. If you go down too far, then your wing's gonna come down real low and be weird. So just stop right at like the corner of the skin where that like is the corner of your outer eye right there. Okay, now we're gonna do the outer wing part. So where you see here on the under curve of your eye, this is where you typically want your wing to continue up. So just ima imagine if there was a line here and this just curving upward, if, it just, if this just kept curving upward like this, that's where you want your wing. If you like your wing up higher or anywhere else, you can adjust it, but that's typically where you want your wing liner to continue. So you just kind of have to eyeball and guess it. So I start here down at the end where I stopped my um, liner and then I'm just gonna go up and just little light strokes. And I don't do the full wing, I just do little light strokes like I'm going up in that direction. Then I reverse where the direction I'm going and then I connect him where I stop that point and I connect him down here to the top. And then you just go back and smooth him out. If there's a wobble anywhere, just keep smoothing it out and connecting it. And we're gonna fill this in a little more. I'm gonna make him a little more pointed. So I drag him back this way so I get this point really nice. And then under here is all wobbly. So I gotta go in and fix him. Now this is going to be your special trick. You take an angled brush and any matte black eyeshadow. And since I don't like having shiny black liner or any wobbly lines, you take the black eyeshadow and you go right over where you did your wing liner and you go right on the part on the edge where your skin and the eyeliner met and you just gently blur any wobbly lines or any wiggles that you may have had and it makes your eyeliner matte and it helps kind of hide any little wiggly guys you may have gotten. So it's not so scary, you guys can totally do it. If you mess up, what you wanna do is take a little bit of eye makeup remover on a Q-tip, gently fix or wipe off the smudge, put a little bit more concealer, powder, your eyeshadow so it looks like nothing ever happened, and start over again. It's just makeup, just eyeliner. If you don't get it, just wipe it off. I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my mascara on so we're gonna curl my lashes. Um, in high school is when I started wearing a uh, liquid eyeliner and it was like wiggly and wobbly like a lot of the times or they'd be like my wings would be like doing like a wave they were just like not symmetrical at all but just keep practicing and that's how you get better and better and better let me put this on and it'll come right back so you can see the finished result so that was it guys piece of cake now you can be a wing liner master just practice if you mess up just wipe it off and start all over again so make sure you guys subscribe comment below whatever 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 makeup basics you want to see um below so i know what to make for you guys but the wing liner once you master this you can smoke it out smudge it out you can do all kinds of things but a wing liner and a red lip classic lip Marilyn Monroe from the 50s up until now. It's still a classic look. Now you can do it too. Um, like always, huge hugs from my house to yours. You guys are more beautiful than you know. You're more talented than you think. And you're more loved than you can possibly imagine from your candy family mama. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye. And comment below to me, what other basic, make, basic, basic makeups? Bake, brain, makeup basics. Would you like to learn how to master